addiction. Creativity is an addiction. It grabs a hold of you and it does great things for you, but it also does bad things for you. But learning how to treat it and listen to it as the addiction that it is helps you grow forward. Not living in your past, not putting too much time and energy in the future, because when you do that, Cam Newton said it best. He says you're cheating on your present. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Being present with the collection of trees. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too selfish here. I feel as if the presence of both sides is providing amazing peace, love, as well as harmony. But you got to see this wild finch. It's playing with me today. As I sit here with these trees, it's starting back and forth from limb to limb. And it's singing songs to me. It knows I'm listening. The voice of the finch. It clearly helps to heal the overcrowded mind, body, and soul. In my crazy world, this finch has been sent to examine the human stick figure, to assess the damage, and then quickly return it to nature. In Native American spirituality, the finch teaches us happiness, diversity, energy. See, as teachers and leaders, the presence of so many animals inside any forest... We need to learn from it. We need to have a connection so that we can take what they're teaching us and share it with another heart and soul as they begin to listen. To be aware of the journey, not taught by the human stick figure, but rather to participate with the things that are moving around us at all times of the day as well as night. That doesn't keep nature out. If anything, what we're doing is we're transferring energy from this source to that source. And it's that presence this bird, this finch, it's music that brings a message to the moment of now. In this forest where I presently sit, not even five, ten minutes ago, this beautiful black squirrel. Yeah, a black squirrel. I've never seen them anywhere in the world, but they're right here in my forest. Black squirrels. I love them. They're so strong. They're so courageous. But this studio is, is literally almost three stories above the forest floor. It's built out over a cliff, basically. And I, I can watch the, the squirrels leap from this limb to that limb. And these limbs are so, so thin. If I were to put my body on that limb, I would fall to the ground immediately. But I love how this black squirrel can leap the way that they do without questioning where they're going to. And then I think about it in our own personal lives. The way that we race from this city to that city or this thought to that thought. The courage that is required by the human mind, body, and soul to make decisions. But then at the same time, are those the decisions that should be made? How often have we posted something on social media and we quickly took it down because it was like, you know, maybe that was a little bit too much. Or you've said something to a family member and they came back because they wanted to one-up you. Oh, if that's what you're going to say about me, well, I'm going to say this about you. Oh, da, 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 da. We hear the comedians all the time joke around about that when it comes to a husband and wife. The argument really never is about the argument. It's about something you experienced in the past and you just happen to bring it back up. And then you got to figure out a way to heal. Being present within this collection of trees. That's my place of study. I'll never forget one time this very religious woman comes up to me and she says... What is the name of your church, son? And I go, my church is the forest. She goes, really? Yes. I said, where I go out in that forest, God has already been. I am within what he has created. And she accepted that. I was like, put my neck out there. But not everybody loves or trusts what it is that's free flowing through each and every one of us. And that's why we've got to get control of how we think and why we think. And we have to understand who is receiving what you think. This this Finch, it had a great time singing these songs. But are you singing songs for those around you so that they too can find peace? It's time to remove the daggers. It's time to place inside community, companionship. How about this? Compassion, empathy. I'm Arrow. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.